I'm walking outside of this gym right now. It's in Los Angeles, California, and it's been closed for seven months and counting. And that's pretty typical around here as gyms struggle to reopen. But head over to China, gyms only close for a couple months. Today, they're fully reopened, sometimes even packed, with many people even choosing not to wear a mask. So why is the situation so different? Yes, different cultures and government responses are part of it, but for the day-to-day -day person, it mostly comes down to an app. I would say life is basically back to normal. That's Jan, but he goes by your China guy. He's originally from Czech Republic and has been living in China as an expat now for several years. I was in Shanghai attending uh, an expo, a conference, huge conference. According to the official numbers that they shared, there was 60,000 people attending within three days. It was thousands of people, it was full, and of course everybody was wearing a mask and you know, people were still required to show the QR code. Think of this QR code as a digital footprint of everywhere you've been. The QR code tells you that you were, for the past two weeks, you were not visiting risky areas in China. Let's say if, if they found some cases in certain area that that area would be considered a risky area. And so this QR code basically just kind of compiles the data and tells you, hey, this person stayed for the past two weeks in Shenzhen, Guangdong and Shanghai, and these places are totally fine, so no problem, this person can go in. It will also know if you were in a restaurant or coffee shop in which someone later got COVID-19 and you'll lose your green color status on the app. The QR code was rolled out early on in China and is largely the reason that the country was able to contain its spread while also reopening offices, restaurants, well, everything. More than 600 million Chinese recently took trips around the country as part of a national holiday. Singapore has adopted similar technologies and even parts of the US have rolled out COVID-19 location tracking apps, although they have yet to widely be used. In the US, the number of COVID-19 cases surpassed more than 10 million. In China, that number has stayed around just 86,000. The values are different. Americans tend to value privacy, so rolling out a mandatory app just isn't an option. But in China, it's a different story, and location tracking has ultimately allowed them to contain COVID-19 and return to a somewhat normal life. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Let me know in the comments, do you think that people should be willing to give up some of their privacy in order to help contain an outbreak? While you're at it, subscribe to my channel and find me online at Upton.